Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be planting some flowers and greenery over on the left hand side of our pathway that leads up to the front porch. And I've wanted to do this for years. We put bark there last year and uh, like a few flowers, but I really want some perennials here that will just come up every year and it will kind of take care of itself. So I'll try to link everything below in the description box of the kind of flowers that we got and the different shrubs. So if you have any questions, look there first. But before we even got started, I first had Thomas get some brand new topsoil because we didn't have really good dirt over here. However, I didn't film this part because the sun and the lighting is so bad here at the front of our house. We actually had to wait till like 8.30 at night to even film this. So we kind of were rushed with just all the shadows and everything, you really couldn't see what we were doing. So we were like, we'll just wait till later tonight and then try to hurry up and get it done before the sun goes down. Another thing I wanted to add is you're going to see some flowers or different things that we've planted here that some need sun and some need shade. And really it's because the front of our house is just so weird. Like we had to kind of map out where gets sun in the day because some of it is like full sun all day and some of it is like they're in the shade the full day. So you're going to see a variety of different kinds of flowers. I'm hoping that everything does really well here. Um, I will keep you updated if there is some issues, but we did look for the last couple days where in our yard we get sun the entire time and then the parts that get shade. And so we kind of put like the hydrangeas more in the shade and then our fox gloves in the sun. So that's why those are kind of spread out randomly is because we found those pockets of sun that they will get the most sunshine there. I also wanted to mention that last year I did a full yard tour while we were doing lots of remodels like on our deck and our back porch um, a lot of people were asking to see our entire yard so I do have that video if you are interested in watching that I will also have that video linked in the description box below.
another thing I have wanted for years and years, I've had this like saved on my Pinterest board forever. And I just love the look of a little fence or a little gate coming up to the front door. So we've had this wooden crate behind our house for I think over a year. I had Thomas disassemble it and then I wanted him to cut it to a certain size that I wanted and then we just made like a little makeshift fence and I feel like it totally completes the look here. I can't wait for you guys to see that here at the end. I also need to add that a lot of these after shots were filmed before we did this fence. So we did this a couple days later. I did have a little fence that I had just leaning up there, but I wanted it to be on both sides. So we ended up taking that one down and then we're using the crate wood to make the other fence. So you'll see that here at the very, very end. Okay guys, well that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. And we will see you in the next video.